afternoon, Town Hall. We're here again to preach the gospel. We love coming out. We do it because we care for you. We don't do it for money. We don't do it for any other reason other than God said, go into all the world, preach the gospel to every creature. This is important for everybody who does not have a relationship with Jesus Christ. Now that's why we're out here today, people. It's out of concern for you. It's not about us. We do this because it's what God says we should do, but it's all about you. It really is all about you because you are the one with the free will, you are the one with the problem. And what's the problem? Cannot enter heaven. Jesus Christ said in John chapter 3 in the Bible, unless you are born again of my spirit, you cannot see or enter the kingdom of heaven. Now why is that a problem? You say everything's fine, I'm going well, I've got a good job. I get three square meals a day, I don't sleep too badly, I'm not worried about too much. Big problem is, don't know how long you're going to be on this earth. And people go, well, I'm still here. Well, maybe today, but if you look on the internet, every day people are dying. 166,000 people yesterday and today, right now. And every day through 2023, 60 million people died, got up in the morning had no idea, weren't going to make it through till five o'clock. So that could be you. And they say, well, you're just using scare tactics. I don't mind what you call it as long as you think about it, because it is a fact. It is a reality. It is a possibility. It can happen to you. It can happen to any of us. You need to know. If you don't know when, you need to know where you're going to be. And Jesus Christ provides the where. He provides the way back to the Father. He provides abundant life in this life and concern. We're concerned about every person who does not have a relationship with Jesus Christ. Every person that I can see in front of me, unless you can tell me different, you cannot enter the kingdom of God. That is a problem that you have, but it's a problem that you can fix by coming to the Lord Jesus Christ. He has provided a remedy for this life and a remedy for the next life. The next life is called eternity. People cannot see it, feel it and touch it, so they don't think it's real. People put more emphasis on this temporary life, and that's probably logical from a human point of view. You can see and feel and touch this life, but it's temporary. It's passing away. Every day the clock is ticking on our lives. We need to have our heart right with Jesus Christ. Very, very important for every person. And it is out of concern that we are out here. We are concerned about you. We're concerned what happens to you, concerned about your eternal life and concerned about your temporary life, this life. Because many people in this life have concerns, they have worries, they have issues of life, they have things that are worrying them that they have no answer for. When you become a child of God, everything changes. You have a loving father who is all powerful, all loving, all kind. Can you imagine if for some reason you could become the child of King Charles? You may not want to do that, but if you could become his child, if he adopted you and you had all the rights of a child of a king, and you had all the money you ever needed. You had all the prestige you ever needed. Everything laid out for you. When you become a child of God, it's even better than that because it's not just about material wealth. It's about spiritual health. It's about having a father who would 
chasten you and discipline you and correct you and shape you into the image of Christ that you would become holy and without blame before him in love and you would have the ability to live a righteous and a holy life. Think about it, people. It's a wonderful thing. You would be safe in his hand. Something happens to you, you he's got you covered, he's got your back. What a wonderful thing. So we're just preaching a short message today to people to tell you that we are concerned about you, that we love you today, people of Town Hall. Don't even know you. Never seen you before in our life, but we can care about you because God cares about you. He wants you safe in his hand. We want to assist you to do that. We'll pray with you. We'll lead you to a saving knowledge of Christ. Jesus loves you today. He cares very much for you. He wants you safe. God bless you, people, in Jesus' name. We'll continue. We're going to pray with people today, and people will be saved here in Town Hall again because we care and Jesus cares. Amen. Amen.